Hello everyone. Welcome to TCMWorks.com. Today we're going to introduce a new acupuncture point. The name is uh, Nei Guan. Nei means uh, inside, inner. Guan means gate. So it's the inner gate. And uh, how to find this point? So you take out your right hand. Of course, we have the same point on both sides. You can just move a little bit. You can see a skin folder here. So I just use a pen to mark it. You can see that. Okay. Another thing is you make a, f a fist like this. You bend a little bit. You can see two tendons there. So the point will be located between these two tendons. So I'm going to draw another line here too. Yeah. Now, actually, we're going to draw another one, and you will know what I mean after, okay? See? So, what you do now is you take another hand, and uh, you put three fingers from the line there. So, the point is, you see, the cross point of these three fingers, and the line I draw before, yeah, it kind of moved a little bit eh? right there. That's the point. This point, the, the international code is called PC6. PC stands for pericardium. That's the, the back or the sac of the heart. Uh, in Chinese medicine, as we say, Chinese medicine is uh, theoretic and symbolic. So we made that an organ as well. So that's here. The meridian go from like the side of your chest, go all the way here to there, and reach to the tip your your finger there. Of course, we're talking about uh, PC6. That's the the point. The way the way to stimulate it is like what we said before. You use your thumb because the thumb is mostly powerful. You press the point, like you press hard. They eh? will say one, two, three and then you release, we say one, two, three. Uh, I do it again, like one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Like this is the stimulation, this is to relax it. So it's like you do a minute of stimulation, sorry, one second <laughs> of uh, stimulation, and then relax for another second. So in one, minute of time you pressed here about 30 times another way is you can make a circular motion do like this say one two three one two three one two three you can do the same rhythm as we did like uh, to do the stimulation straight down uh, the other way is tapping that you can use four fingers. When we do this, we literally will work in the meridian. So we make the point as the center. You can do like this. Like this, you can you can do like a one pad per second. It's like 60 times per minute. There's another way you can save time. You can do both at the same time. Is you because you have a leg one PC six here as well. So you can do like this. Yeah, again, this is like uh, other two previous points we introduced. This point is uh, pretty sensitive. Like when I press here, I feel sensation go all the way here <laughs> and actually really reach to there when I do this. Yeah. So what is this point is, is for? Uh, because this point is started from the chest and uh, started from the pericardium and uh, reached to the finger here. And the way to reach to here, it also connect with the lungs and the esophagus as well. So we use this point for things related to the heart, like for heart condition. Yeah, I just want to emphasize that when we say this point could be good for 
certain conditions, it does not mean uh, you don't need any medication or anything. It's just something you can do on the side to help. And uh, as a matter of fact, when you start anything new, and uh, you can consult with your physician. So we say this is good for the heart. For example, some people have a uh, coronary heart conditions and um, palpitation, arrhythmia, like uh, irregular heart beating, and things like that. And this is also good for, as we say, it go through the connect to the lungs to this area. So when someone, some people, when you have a, a cold or you cough, you sneeze, and uh, that point could help the lungs and can improve the immune system as well. The other areas that is very commonly used. This one is for nausea. Uh, sometimes the morning sickness is due to early pregnancy, some people have cancer treatment, they can have nausea as well, or motion sickness, you know, when some people, uh, they're in the cruise, and uh, they start to feel nausea and dizzy, and vomiting, and this is point to work on. You work, you press the heart, and you feel the sensation, until your symptoms subside. The other areas, this point uh, is we used here for help to relax a person, improve sleeping, reduce anxiety. Uh, in this area, is very useful as well. Now, this is the third point so far we introduced to you. I think we just take uh, a few more seconds to review uh, the first two points. And uh, we introduced the LI4 at the first. So what we do is, uh, we, we, we talk about this method, eh? because we have, um, can I <laughs> you can see the fold here, and then you, you open here, you do like this, move like that, now here's the point, so the way of stimulation is similar, about the same. So. This one is more for like uh, we say headaches and uh, infection and um, if someone has a cold or flu we can use that. The second point that we introduced is uh, stomach 36 and uh, we review that and uh, you, you find the indent here is kind of a, you find there's a hole here eh? beside your, your knee tendon here and uh, you put the four fingers together and uh, you kind of you, you can draw a draw a line there. You see that. And first, you then you feel the the bone here, the shin bone here. So you put a finger there. So the cross point is here. So that's stomach 36. The stomach point certainly is help digestive system, but is as, as we say a longevity point, good for your strength, uh, improve general functioning for your immune system. Uh, that's a point we should do every day or every other day. So thank thank you for watching. Bye bye.